Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. We had already started a digital electronics series in which we posted videos that explain digital design concepts with practical examples that you can easily relate to, helping you grasp the basics effortlessly. We will be posting more videos to the digital electronics playlist in which we will also cover important questions most frequently asked in VLSI job interviews. These videos will also be beneficial to students preparing for GATE and other competitive examinations. We won't stop at just theory. Let's roll up our sleeves and get hands-on by coding the circuits in an open-source EDA platform and see how these circuits are implemented in VLSI chips. Make sure you watch all the videos in the playlist. Today's video, we'll be understanding the encoder. An encoder is a combinational circuit that performs reverse operation of the decoder. A binary encoder has a maximum of two par n input lines and n output lines. It will produce a binary code equivalent to the input line which is active high. Let's take the example of a 4 to 2 encoder that has four input lines y3 to y0 and two output lines a1 and a0. Based on which of the inputs is high, it encodes to a particular code at the output A0 and A1. So if the input line Y0 is high, then the output must be 0, that is 0, 0. If the input line Y1 is high, output is 1, 0, 1. If Y2 is high, output is 2, 1, 0. If Y3 is high, output is 3, 1, 1. We can represent this using gates also. So A1 is high only when either y2 or y3 are high so y2 or y3 will be a1 and a0 is high only when y1 or y3 are high so a0 is y1 or y3 let's take an application example to understand better you have a 10 digit keypad with you you need to connect it to a microcontroller for your project the 10 digit keypad internally is represented by this circuit. The lines are always 0 if it, the key is not pressed and if it is pressed it is set to 5 volts. So there are 10 output lines, one each for the 10 keys. You can't assign 10 pins of your controller to this can you? You have planned a complex project and there are other sensors also so you can't spare IO pins to keypad knowing that it's a waste as you are sure that only one key will be pressed and so to represent keys from 0 to 9 only 4 bits is enough. This translation of inputs from 0 to 10 that is our 10 bits to a 4 bit BCD input can be done by an encoder. Let's see in detail about this encoder. So this is a decimal to BCD encoder. The inputs from your keypads 0 to 9 let them be Y0 to Y9. When any of the key is pressed, it will be 1, while the rest will be 0. And if key 0 is pressed, you should tell that it's 0, so it is 0, 0, 0, 0. But if key 1 is pressed, you should tell that it's 1, so the BCD output will be 1, and so on. If key 9 is pressed, it should say 9, 1, 0, 0, 1. From these outputs, you can also represent it in gate level or by using expressions. So for A0, it is high only when Y1, Y3, Y5, Y7 or Y9 are high. Similarly for A1, it is high only when Y2, 3, 6 or 7 are high. A2 is high only when 4, Y4, Y5, Y6 and Y7 are high. And A3 is high only when either y8 or y9 is high. From these expressions, you can also represent using gates. We have done the same here. The same expressions are represented as gates. Now, let's suppose the user press three buttons at once, button 2, 3 and 6. So your d2, d3 and d6 are 1. For these inputs, let's see what we'll get as the output. So D6 goes to input of Y2 and Y1. So Y2 and Y1 will be high. D3 goes to input to this gate as well as this gate. 
so again y1 and y0 will be high d2 goes as an input to this gate so this will be high so the output will be 0 1 1 1 this is actually 7 but the user just pressed 2 3 and 6 buttons you can see the problem here right when the user pressed more than one buttons it gave an output of 7 but we hadn't even pressed the button 7 there's another problem also suppose that all inputs are 0 and no key is pressed for this condition you'll get the output 0 0 0 and 0 now suppose we pressed d0 so only d0 bit will become 1 while the rest still remains 0 here again the output is all 0 so how do you distinguish between the two cases where you didn't press any button to where you press the 0 button as the output is 0 in both the condition certainly there needs to be a fix to both these problems that is pressing multiple keys at a time and to distinguish if no key is pressed or if the zeroth key is pressed. That's where a priority encoder comes to play. The truth table of priority encoder is as follows. In a priority encoder, a particular bit is given priority. Here we have given highest priority to the digit 9 or the key 9. So if key 9 is pressed, it doesn't matter if any other key is pressed or not. So these are don't cares. Even if they are 0 or 1, it detects it as 9. Similarly, if key 8 is pressed, and it doesn't matter if other keys are pressed or not, it detects it as 8. And the priority encoder also has an additional valid bit. This valid bit is set to 1 if at least one of the inputs is 1. If all inputs are 0, the valid bit is set to 0. So now you can see that both the problems that we encountered in the previous slide are solved by the priority encoder. To arrive at output expressions of a priority encoder, you will need to solve k-map with don't cares. And the k-map will be based on 9 inputs. Solving that would be very difficult. So let's write a behavioral code for priority encoder instead. Let's see how to write the behavioral Verilog code for a priority encoder in the next video. Stay tuned. Thank you.